And so part two of a today's broadcast presentation saga news that carries on to TRs all over the world in the UK to the intelligence services all over the world in the, and in the UK to the UN and to people watching my channels with interest. Right, still got the COVID abusers, yeah, which is a uh, which a uh, is being covered up by Coventry Police, Coventry Council Establishment, NHS, Coventry England, and the Swansea Centre doctors, psychiatrist, and social services, and the mental health sectors. Yeah, so I'll, exp I'll, I'll explain the program. Yeah, for yeah, it, and, and try try and make it simple for people to understand. Yeah, if you understand or are aware of what the police and the private detectives division do. What armed forces soldiers do when we go to war, especially the ones that go and map out where the enemy are, yeah, where their targets are, and uh, need to map out the area before the, the their soldiers start advancing in. Yeah, we're collating intelligence, yeah, collect, collating information about the target and what we're talking about and what we're doing daily. Yeah, so if you understand that, yeah, you have to realise the technologies they have out there, yeah, they've got see-through wall technology, yeah, which means it can see through walls, through concrete, through metal, yeah, through fabrics, yeah, once it's been collaborated, yeah, hardly enough, yeah, for the whatever technology they're using, because there's various equipment out there which can be modified to do this, the same. Yeah, we're using sonar, radar, yeah, from the armed forces, ground, ground penetrating technologies, yeah, to get an outline of a person next door, yeah, or in, the, or in the office next door, or in a building next door, in a house next door, yeah, or in a shopping mall, yeah, or in a vehicle, yeah, while well, they hide on either side of the wall, yeah, or hiding nearby, depending what kind of equipment they're using, which is highly collaborated, yeah, which, f f f yeah, f yeah, to see their target. So that's why we use the outline equipment. So why we use thermology, infrared, ultrasound, X ultrasound, yeah, depending how close their clever operators want to be, yeah, to, to get to the target, yeah. That goes hand in hand, in hand yeah, with so cybercrime equipment, so they can monitor the target's phones, the target's computers, yeah, and internet connections, internet internet data, yeah, and mirror anything they're doing, yeah, so that so they so they can see exactly what I am doing, what I am doing now. Know that I'm going to broadcast this out, yeah, all around the world, yeah, onto YouTube, yeah, so they're watching my YouTube channels, yeah, and that's where the social services, the mental health sectors are conspiring, yeah, they're trolling, trolling me, hoping they can use something on here to try and detain me under the Mental Health Act, yeah, and so that's all I'm exposing that programme, yeah, because this has gone on, gone on for so many, many, many years, yeah, they, they, they can't ha have warrants, they can't have authority to do this, because it's all illegal, it's all criminal practice and secondly, me, the top, their targets most of the time, yeah, are not criminals, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, all, it's, it's one big experiment, to try and break down someone, try and put them through a crisis, yeah, and then try and detain them, yeah, under the Mental Health Act, yeah, and, and, and making up stories linked, yeah, to making out they are all concerned about the target, yeah, and and so, yeah, and so that's why, yeah, they train, they've got different organisations conspiring with them in Coventry, that's how the programme's working on me, yeah, because it, it, it alt alternates and differs and is modified to each target all around the world in different cities, towns and villages, all depending on what the, what the surveillance monitoring operation is all about, whether you've been listed to, to research, yeah, study on, yeah, for the NHS, so they'll be pretty clinical, psychologically more intrusive, yeah, more abusive, because they're capturing stuff for the NHS, so that all that includes the whole human anatomy, yeah. And then depending on what kind of technologies they're drafted in, whether they're using X-rays, yeah, whether they're using ultrasound, yeah, they are getting biometric data off you, yeah. When they're conspiring with mental health people, yeah, sociologists and human behavioural scientists, yeah, and mental health administrators, yeah, psychiatrists and clinical psychologists, yeah, then that also means they're doing neuroscience on on you, 
you ever want neuroscience experiments and data collected off you. Yeah, so the draft, all, 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 all technologies linked to the neuroscientists of the world. Yeah, if you do both, yeah, but do, and that's what we're doing on doing me and my family. Yeah, we're doing more as well. Yeah, it means, yeah, they're doing biometrics, your whole human anatomy. Yeah, and they're doing neuroscience. So that's the NHS. Yeah, and the mental health sectors, administrators and social workers conspiring together. Yeah, to experience the people. Because the elders, the tired people did it all before, and they get excited because technology is moving at moving at a fast pace. Yeah, so every few months they modify the program again and use this new technology. And the elders, retired ones, and juniors on the field, they're learning how to use it all. Yeah, learning how to to, to set it all up, learning how to see how learning how to experiment to see if they can get results, so they can send back onto the laptop and then send it back. Yeah, from the location of the covert operators back to HQ, yeah, and back to various organisations who are collating all this data, yeah, for their own sub projects, for their own research, study, hidden case studies, yeah. And then when it comes to the programming side of it all, a psychological warfare where they have to try and induce something off a target, yeah, depending on the target's persona, yeah, it could take months, it could take years, yeah, yeah, and so. That's always been gone on for 16 years of me, my mother and my brother. Yeah, because yeah, they've been doing all various sub-projects, yeah, linked to all these organisations, yeah, and they're networking it back to the UK people who then, yeah, cleaning it all up, editing it all up, yeah, put it into their sub-projects, yeah, try and make a career for themselves in their local in their local uh council establishment, in the local NHS, or the local mental health sectors, or the local police force, yeah. Some cases, this this equipment, they're trying to patent it, yeah, because it's been modified from its old use to compatible with the internet, compatible with thermology, infrared, ultrasound, X-ray, whatever the, whatever the equipment they're using, yeah, and they've modified it all. And then the elders, the retired ones, who used the old equipment before it was modified into the new one, yeah, they try and elevate the genius to make out they are geniuses. And the ones in Coventry, they're trying to elevate Ron Lewis, Tony Chapman, yeah, Ashley Mapp, Nathan Cray, Michael Horro, Zinni Logan, Lyndon Logan, into their whatever occupations field they are studying in, researching in, and trying to qualify into, yeah, which is linked to sociology, human behavioural science, scientists, yeah, and, and their, their peers, yeah, are in NHS England and in the Science of Centre Doctors Association, board, board of psychiatrists, yeah, they've got professors and scientists linked to sociology, human behavioural science, linked to psychiatry, linked to psychology, yeah, and linked to, to mental health uh, ad administrators, mental health units, mental health occupations in the UK, linked to their British Board of Psychiatry. Yeah, so that's all the kind of people who sit in the background, all that's audience members, yeah, whether they're sitting in Coventry or sitting in the UK somewhere, yeah, in in, in their probably their own homes, depending how late it is that these covert operators are networking because they're networking 24 hours a day. Yeah, and... Uh, what time they receive the the data. Yeah, and so, yeah, it's one big merry-go-round that's been covered up in Coventry. And uh, so, yeah, so with me, my mother and my brother, TIs in the UK and intelligence services in the UN, yeah, they've gone for the whole hog, yeah? They're studying every aspect of our lives, yeah? Yeah, all linked to neuroscience, linked to biometrics, linked to NHS, human, human whole human anatomy research, Linked to audiology, linked to the mental health sectors, linked to the sociologist, even behavioral scientist, and the psychiatrist, psychologist, and then they're learning uh, everything about the human body language, everything we do physically, yeah, and emotionally, yeah, while we're sleeping, yeah, and and they click and they and they're studying, yeah, how we're sleeping, yeah, seeing if they're having dreams, what are, are they good dreams, are they bad dreams, because they have got all this technology to spy into people's homes. Yeah, to spy into people's lives 24 hours a day. Yeah, and in public, they use some military police position. They use, yeah, government graded, government issued, yeah, video and photographic, yeah, equipment, yeah, highly collaborated. So, so any, anywhere my mother goes, anywhere my brother goes, anywhere I go, yeah, there's a cover operator somewhere nearby who's been mapped out 
and implanted into the local area, yes, yeah, sitting high above in or in someone's house, yeah, who's harboring them, yeah, or someone who's got loads of houses and they've got their covert team in, in these houses, you know, the people who've got loads of houses, the dormant association, yeah, and all that kind of stuff, and the people and the fraudsters who've got various houses, they sublet to these covert operators, yeah. Yeah, the, the, the local gangs that are protected by the police force, by the council establishments and by the mental health administrators who use these gangs, yeah, week after week, year after year, every time they list them on in Coventry, yeah, it's because they're trying to, they have to try and socially engineer madness, yeah, they have to try and socially engineer baiting, goading, yeah, put downs, yeah, to try and get mental health symptoms and mental illnesses, yeah, so that the co operators can capture all, yeah. Yeah, while, while they've moved the goalposts, yeah, yeah, they, was correct term for it all, they anticipate, yeah, anything the target does, yeah, and try and use anything against them. So now they've moved the goalpost, modified the stitch up frame up, yeah, activity to, to, to make it out. I've got loads of people concerned about what I'm putting on YouTube, which, yeah, it's my opinion, yeah. This is what, yeah, this is what's going on around me. And I'm, I'm, I'm entitled to expose it, yeah? Because Coventry Police, yeah? Coventry Council, the NHS and the Coventry Social Services, yeah? Knew what was going on, that they have to cover it all up. And so they made out, yeah, what I am re revealing, exposing, does not go on, yeah? But, yeah, they can't deny it, yeah? Because it's happening, it's happening all over the world, yeah? And top brass, in government, in local councils, yeah, in psychiatry, in the NHS, in social services, in the mental health, yeah, and the people who invented and worked with these technologies are coming forward and exposing it all, saying these technologies have been modified to be used as weapons. Yeah, experts like Dr. Barry Trower, yeah, Dr. John Hall, Dr. Robert Duncan, Dr. Colin Ross, yeah, people who worked for intelligence services in various countries all over the world, yeah, for the NSA, yeah, yeah, are coming forward, yeah, who, who I've been sharing information with and, and, and using their information that, that they're sharing, yeah, which is helping people to come to terms with it all, yeah, yeah, if not stupid, yeah, and can use, yeah, uh, the internet, yeah, to work out what's going on around them, yeah, and that's what I did, yeah, while all you people out there who are still denying it all, if you see, Realise what I am exposing Coventry people, yeah? They did this to Ian Hard and Ellis Trigger, yeah? Back in the 80s, yeah? They did it to, to Rob Bow, yeah? Because these people were in the town centre talking about it all, yeah? Yeah, and now I've got all this knowledge, yeah? Yeah, I know exactly what they did to them, yeah? And they're trying to do exactly what they did to them. They're trying to do exactly the same to me, yeah? Um, to my mother, to my brother, yeah? They're trying to drive us to insanity, yeah? And same time, they're trying to raid it, raid it us because they use microwave weapons as TRs exposing all over the world and have shown the injuries, yeah? And victims all, all over the world are coming forward, yeah? Microwaves can be modified, yeah? Yeah, to microwave people. The armed forces boys know, know about it, the farmer know about it, the dormant association know about it, the fraudsters know about it, and their boyfriends, girlfriends, sons, daughters, mothers and fathers who've done this stalking before, they all know about it. Yeah, the car keyboards can't deny it. Yeah, his ex-Navy boy, he worked at SCS and was around in the late 80s when they did one of their first targets in Coventry under this gang stalking. Yeah, they, they did the old associate. Yeah, one of the old friends. Yeah, due to racism. Yeah. And, and uh, falling out with him, yeah? They abused Ian Hardin and Ellis Trigger in exactly the same way, yeah? And they used all his old friends, all his old associates, all the people that he used to drink with, that he used to party with, yeah? Involved in the party scene in Coventry, yeah? 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 They all aided and abetted to stitch him up. Now all his circles have popped out of the woodwork, yeah? Stalking me, my mother and my brother, yeah? So that's no coincidence. That, yeah, we did the street theatre, yeah, the, whether the acting as over operators or cover operators, yeah, looking around in the background, yeah, these people, I know their faces, yeah, all show their faces, yeah, so that's why I know, yeah, that, that, that generation has told the younger generation, yeah, 
in what they did, what they got up to, yeah? And then now, now, yeah, they've, they've escalated it to get all young people out to do this gang stalking in Coventry, yeah? And that's their sons and daughters, their friends, their family, yeah? And, and uh, they're all networking due to the internet technology taking off, yeah? They're, and, and they've been streaming, yeah? Because the armed forces, connections, the older elders that did it all before, yeah, obviously, yeah, they get their technology first before anyone else in the communities because they're linked to the armed forces, linked to the police, yeah? And so that's all the equipment they're using and all the manpower they're using, yeah? It's all precision, military, all precision plans to military and police expertise, yeah? So that's why I know who's doing it all, yeah? And that's what I can expose them all, yeah? Yeah, their faces, their names, their families, their circles, yeah? And the association, yeah? And there's a lot of people in Coventry who are doing this, who are coming up for them. Yeah, that's all exposed the Armed Forces Connections. Yeah, who worked at SCS. Yeah, 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 they're all incriminating it all. They've all been conspiring for many, many, many years. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it needs, there needs to be a conclusion. Yeah, there needs to be a stop book to it all. Yeah, and then everyone who gets rounded up, yeah, can blame it to everything that happened at SCS. Everything that happened in Vince Ball's house and everything that happened down Village Street. Yeah? Because because yeah, they are serious crimes against humanity. You wouldn't wish it on your own enemy. Yeah? And these people, yeah, 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 but they're, they're playing with fire. Yeah, trying to destroy people's minds, bodies, and souls. And they, and they think it's funny. Yeah, doing it to pensioners, doing it to school children, yeah. Doing it to adults who don't know nothing nothing about this technology. Yeah, so that's that's the people who did it to, yeah, back in the 80s, back in the 90s, before the internet took off, yeah, because that, these people didn't have access, didn't, didn't know what was going on around them, yeah, didn't have access, yeah, to research like TIs are doing now, yeah, to realise what's going on around them, yeah, and that would have helped them to overcome, yeah, this dirty disease, this dirty illness, yeah, this dirty drug, yeah, that, that, that these cover operators are doing. Yeah, psychological warfare. Yeah, and it's got to them. Yeah, that, that, that they've transcended into dirty devils, into dirty animals who can't be tr who can't be trusted and can't be sh can't, can't be shown any respect. Yeah, doing that to the neighbours, doing it to people they fell out with. Yeah, doing it to people they don't like. Yeah, doing it out of racism, doing it for kicks. Yeah, to see how they can tr try and break people. Yeah, or stitch them up and frame them up using the social services. Uh, association that they associate with, yeah, yeah, and the mental, mental health administrators that they associate with, yeah, and the twisted scientist professors linked to the Swansea Centre Doctors Psychiatry uh, Association they associate with, yeah, in the name of science, in the name of research, and in the name of careers and chasing blood money, yeah, they, they blow themselves that much, sacrifice themselves that much that they, they think for the gang, yeah, and for money and for careers, yeah. And for, for kicks, yeah, they can go and do this to human beings in, in Coventry, around the UK and around the world. Yeah, so this gang has to be exposed. Yeah, they have to be brought, yeah, to uh, to have serious trials, yeah, and the military tribunals for doing serious crimes, yeah, and uh, endangering their targets 24 hours a day, every day, 365 days a year. That's what this gang has done to me, to my mother and my brother. Yeah, and, and and then think they can audaciously cover it all up. Yeah, by make, making out they are trustworthy police officers, trustworthy sector workers, trustworthy social workers, mental health administrators, trustworthy psychiatrists, psychologists, and cover operators. Yeah, and think, yeah, that uh, they don't need to go through a normal court of law, yeah, to justify what they've done. Yeah, wrong. That's what exposed their family courts of protection. And these cover operators, these police officers, these Coventry Council establishment workers, NHS ambulance crew members, NHS Coventry England, nurses, doctors, yeah, professors, scientists, healthcare workers, yeah, social workers and mental health administrators think they can do that to me, to my mother and my brother and expect to get away with it and expect to keep everything. Yeah, and laugh about it of what they've done to people. Yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like a Jeffrey Epstein. Yeah, this is like a Jimmy Savile. Yeah, these people in Coventry have to realise what they've done. What they've done. Yeah, have to realise the consequences. That is, that they have. They have to be arrested. Yeah, and have to realise the consequences. They have to have to be thrown in jail for it for a very long time. Yeah, because yeah, you can't have these loose cannons. Yeah, 
these twisted, yeah, abusing cover operators, yeah, and stalkers, yeah, doing this to me and to my mother, my brother, yeah, and expecting to get away with it. No, no way. Yeah, that's why the UK government, the UN and intelligence services all over the UK have to watch Coventry, yeah, and and, and pressurise Coventry Police Force, West Midlands West, West Police Force, yeah, to name their police officers, their private detectives, yeah, and their NHS linked researchers, yeah, and make sure they do go to prison for it. Yeah, because of the elders, the retired ones who are training the juniors, Tony Chapman, Ryan Lewis and Ashley Matt, Nathan Crane, everyone linked to Patrick Hoban. Yeah, who've taken the law into their own hands to gang up on me, my mother, my brother, because the court case didn't go their way in 2004. Yeah, they conspired with that many people. They all have to get rounded up. Yeah, and they're thrown in prison and have the key thrown away. Yeah, because it's abnormal, dangerous, twisted out of the ordinary, yet yeah, abusing surveillance monitoring campaign that's going on every single day, yeah, and they have to have the book thrown on. So, I'll leave it at that, TIs, yeah, so I can analyse it all, people watching it for interest, yeah, do your own research, yeah, in what these sector workers, yeah, what their occupations are, yeah, what they study, yeah, what, yeah, what they qualify for, yeah, and what, and what their long-term career goal is, yeah, and, uh, yeah, realise, yeah, there's major corruption, abuse, and racketeering, and experimenting that goes on behind closed doors, yeah, that these bigots, yeah, who think they are more intelligent than any other people on the planet, yeah, do, yeah, to fellow human beings, yeah, and then realise, yeah, that, uh, yeah, that uh, the new law is going to have to be in implemented, yeah, to stop these people doing this in the future, yeah, and that stiff laws, stiff je uh, sentences, yeah, have to be implemented, yeah, yeah, to make sure, yeah, send out a warning to future, yeah, sector workers, to future police officers, yeah, to future private detectives, yeah, and to future local people, yeah, that we're not going to tolerate this kind of overt, covert surveillance monitoring abuse. Yeah, it's all illegal, it's all criminal practicing, and the people at the very top, yeah, their heads have to roll and their careers have to be destroyed. Yeah, whether that's the Coventry CID, the Coventry Police Force, or the Coventry Social Services and Mental Health Sectors, yeah. Yeah, and, and, uh, more singing, yeah, it's harming nobody, yeah, it's in the privacy of my own home, yeah, yeah, ain't doing no breach of the peace, no noise nuisance, because it ain't loud enough, yeah, and I'll do w what I can to make sure the pressure is put on the cover operators who are illegally sound recording people, illegally photographing them, illegally videoing them, yeah, and illegally uploading, downloading onto laptops and networking it back to HQ, yeah, in the council establishment, in the CRD establishment, in the sector's establishment, yeah, NHS establishment, yeah, and back to local people. And that's a crime in itself, yeah, because stalking's a crime, yeah, and then they, and you're not allowed to go around photographing, videoing, sound recording people, yeah, at, at your own will, just for kicks and for desperation, for revenge, yeah, and for future protocols, Desperate, hopingly, that you can stitch and frame them up using the social services, family court of protection. Yeah, Tony Chapman, Ryan Lewis, yeah, they've got no fucking testosterone or testicles, yeah, to stand up to the retired, yeah, local management, yeah, police officers or community leaders called the Dormant Association, yeah, and, t and tandem, yeah, to shove the equipment up their ass, yeah, and, they, and then they can't do it no more, yeah, that's how much cowards the juniors are and everyone under the covert leader yeah yeah and so ti's carry on exposing them yeah yeah the, the more desperate they get yeah the more they're going to give, give give themselves away yeah and give the secrets away yeah and expose their government and local council establishment yeah because that's where it's all coming from yeah that's my opinion yeah and due to my experiences i know Country City Council establishment are behind all this, yeah, and they're all quaking in the boots. The management hiding in the concrete jungle, hiding behind a computer screen, yeah, hiding in the offices, yeah, you know who I'm pointing at, talking about, yeah, because you're watching these YouTube presentations, yeah, you're all suffering, yeah, stop lying about me, it's too mentally tough for you, too physically tough for you, yeah, and it's on the level, and you are just trying to disrupt, to unbalance, yeah. Yeah, my life, my mother's life and brother's life 
and that's why we come back every day on Overt and Koji. Yeah, and the reality is, all you sector workers, yeah, all you CID, yeah, the person in charge of your surveillance monitoring campaign has got OCD and is in denial for it, yeah, and is desperate, yeah, because he's made a fool out of himself, or well, she's made a fool out of himself, yeah, and they don't know what to do, yeah, they don't know how to tell their team, yeah, that the that is uh, the mission's over, yeah, because they can't, yeah, save face, yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, 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 they can't handle the pressure, yeah, that, that's going on inside their head to call off a surveillance monitoring operation, yeah, because they're paranoid, yeah, that they're going to be ridiculed for the rest of their life, yeah, that's paranoia, yeah, of the big wigs situation. So everyone digest it all, so I can analyse it all, and have a good day.